Hey piggy people. So this is going to be cleaning up some cages. So the first cage we have here has Busby and Autumn. Just going to move some of this decent hay and set it over on the trio side. And take out their pelletfish. Try to remove their little wood logs. So Busby turned two in April, and then Autumn's going to be four. Crazy to think that Busby's already two. Hey, little bubs. He's so cute. He's still quite shy, but he is quite the sweet little guy to snuggle. You just got to catch him first. Hey, Busby. So I just take the liners over to the garbage and then scrape them off with a cat litter scooper just to get all the hay and any poops and stuff off. So this uh, orange colored padding here is vet bed, so I have that under all the cages. It's just a nice extra padding, especially to seniors. They really enjoy having the extra cushion. So now that I have less cages, I just do cage cleaning once a week. Back when I had twice the amount of pigs, I used to do it twice a week. Because man, they sure made a mess, but now I find once a week is sufficient. That's probably one of the major differences I find having five pigs versus ten. is a lot less cleaning time. So I've been trying to enjoy that. Let's pull this one out. Oh, he flew right by hay bulbs. There we go. Let's see if Autumn will come out. Are you going to come out, little sweetie? For her pumping his head? Hey, little guys. You go to the other end, guys. There you go. Say hello to the little piggies. That's a good girl. How's that look? Nice and fresh? They both are so cute on this print. Matches them perfectly. Don't you think, Autumn? You look so gorgeous on it. So I have a little extra pad where I put their hay on. This is a 2 by 2 pad. And I put down orchard grass and some timothy. So I just do hay piles now. I stopped using my hay boxes a while ago. Alright, put a little bit 
the Timothy hanger there? What do you think? Is that pretty good? The little cuties. So this cage has Huckle, Raisin, and Beta. And these are in a little hay pile, aren't ya? So we have some new cats. I don't know if you guys follow my cat page or if you'll know what I'm talking about, but last year I trapped a cat outside. He was semi-feral. His name is Sammy. So that was last August. He used to come around and he'd sleep on our deck and then uh, he started to ask for food so I fed him and he seemed not friendly but somewhat used to humans that he was okay to be around. Couldn't get close to him or touch him for quite a long time after we trapped him but with a lot of work he is now the sweetest snuggliest cat ever. So this year right in the beginning of winter there were two other cats outside who are obviously homeless. One seemed like a stray cat because she was friendly and the other seemed just like Sammy semi-feral. So winters in Canada are absolutely nasty. So I was feeding them all through winter and we decided that we would give it a whirl to trap them and see how they do with Sammy. So we have a female which is named Nim. She seems pretty young. She's the one that seems like a stray because she seems friendly and I can handle her easily. Super cute little girl. She loves to be held. I can't wait for her to get spayed. They go next week to get spayed and neutered because she goes in and out of heat and my goodness a cat in heat. Not fun. Lots of howling and other crazy things. So she's in one spare room and then the other cat his name is Danny. And he looks just like Sammy. So if it's a brother of Sammy or like Sammy's dad, I don't know. But so far he seems to have like a very similar personality, pretty mellow, but obviously very nervous to be around people. So we're just doing the same things that we did with Sammy. Doing it really easy and slow to interact with him. So it's a lot of healthy snacks that we'll leave in the room that he has to come out for and eat in like a little line that gets closer and closer to us. So he's doing well. And I can't wait for him to be neutered because intact males stink. I forgot how bad they stink. So I can remember Sammy, his pee, just smelled the entire spare room up. Same with Danny. So, so far I'm lucky both the cats have great litter box habits. So I'm just hoping that once Danny's neutered that he's not going to mark anything because he has marked a couple um, mats, microfiber mats that I leave by like the litter, like litter microfiber mats. He's marked those a few times so I had to take them away. So I'm hoping that once he's neutered he won't do any more marking. But other than that, the first cat, obviously, that I'll be introducing to Sammy is Nim, because once she's healed from her spay and her hormones are gone, she's ready to go. Because my goodness, she wants to come out of her room. And Sammy's very interested in who she is. He doesn't seem to have any negative reaction so far, so I will be doing intros by the book of what I've learned for doing cat intros. But I have a really good feeling that those two will be uh, fast friends because she seems like a real sweet, um, easygoing cat too. And then I won't be trying Danny until he's totally comfortable with us people. And my fingers are crossed that he'll get along with them too. So he got along with Nim outside. There was a couple times I caught them on camera hanging out outside with, you know, nothing negative, like sharing food. So I'm hoping 
that that means that he's a pretty sweet tomcat, because I mean Sammy is. So we'll find out it is an adventure, but mainly I was just happy that I got them, you know, off the streets. So out where we live, we're out in the country, tons of coyotes out back, foxes, lots of raccoons, tons of predators, and you know, there's a road that they could get hit on. So one of the things that really pushed me to trap the cats a bit sooner than I wanted to, because I had their um, spay and neuter booked, and it was a month wait, but I ended up trapping them way sooner than their spay and neuter because Nim kept going across the road all the time. And there's a couple times where she's just barely off the road and cars would be flying by, so I trapped them as soon as I could. The last thing I wanted to see was a cat hit on the road. So I just have to go get some liners. So who else out of you guys have cats? Just curious. So I'm really hoping that all the cats are going to get along. Luckily, got a lot of patience. So anything I read was even for some of the more difficult cats, you just really have to take your time with intros and go at a pace that they're comfortable with. I think I'm pretty lucky that um, Sammy is a pretty, well actually a really easygoing cat. He's a very go with the flow cat. We had to have work done on our house. And for a week I just had to lock him in his bedroom during the day while the workers were doing their work in the house. And he was so good about it. So obviously his room had all his stuff in it, but like it didn't affect him at all and he wasn't stressed out or anything. So that's good. He's just a very sweet, sweet cat. And so far the other two seem the same. Almost done little guys. Got some hair rares and some flowers. Kind of ran out of some matching stuff here. I sold a bunch of fleece on my Facebook page, some used stuff, because I had so much extra. Now that I wash the, like clean out the cages half the amount of time as I did before and have half the amount of pigs. So a bunch of people on Facebook actually bought some and then somebody else bought my hay boxes too. Which was nice, because then the money that I made off of that is going to go towards the cats getting spayed and neutered. Because my goodness, that is going to be a pretty penny. Because I had um, not just spay and neuters, but they need their vaccines. I had to worm them, um, give them medication, you know, just to be careful about like fleas and ticks. And then do viral testing to make sure they didn't have like feline leukemia or the FIV. And I also did blood work for them. Both will be having blood work to just have a baseline and make sure that they were good to go for surgery. But anyway, woo, expensive. So even if you get yourself some free cats from outside, they sure aren't free. I really do enjoying cats. Do enjoy having cats though. It's nice having an animal that isn't confined to a cage and that can be out and about with you throughout the day. That's been really enjoyable and so fun. Like Sammy's really, really playful. So that's been really enjoyable. And Sammy's also a big talker. So that's been fun too. He has so much to say all the time. 
When I was growing up, we had a cat, but she wasn't the friendliest. So I'm lucky that I've got very friendly cats now. Well, Danny will be at some point. We'll get him there. Even though Danny's not used to people, he hasn't hissed or swatted or anything nasty like that. Well, it's not necessarily nasty, but no scared behaviors like that. Although I'm not too sure what he's gonna think about neuter day when I have to get him to go in a crate. Alright babies, what do you think about that? We'll get you some beds. Oh my little piggies. And don't worry guys, I still love my pigs. But I know I said before, like these are my last five pigs. And as they naturally pass, I will not be getting more. I have absolutely loved having piggies though. But I do have to say having five compared to ten is much nicer. At one point, I was totally all in and 10 was no trouble, but definitely wore me out after 10 plus years of piggies. I guess more like 12 plus years of pigs. I think the biggest thing that wore me out with pigs is just the health problems just were never ending and always so scary because you know, like time was of the essence so if somebody wasn't right you had to act so fast and then to think in the last few years how many pigs passed from crappy illnesses just definitely took a toll okay guys I think you are ready they're all fresh. It's always so nice to have a fresh, clean cage. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.